so you just got solar panels or you're thinking about getting some and it crossed your mind. What do I do to maintain them? Uh, do I call the solar man once a year? Do we need to turn some screws or you know, put down some grease? Oh, one of the great things about solar is there's no moving parts. It does its job by collecting energy from the sunlight. And so the only thing that you really need to do is make sure that that sunlight is able to penetrate through the solar panel glass. So let's dig into our solar panel maintenance kit a little bit. So when you first get up there, you'll need to take care of some loose dirt, debris, uh, leaves. We have a leaf blower. We've listed all of these products below. Please use our affiliate links. It's what allows us to make these videos. So you blow the leaves away. And then after we've uh, done that, we've got three different methods that we're going to use to clean the panels. I've heard that panels are self-cleaning, which what people mean by that is they're angled. Uh, the glass has very little friction. So when the rain comes, it washes the dust away. Fine. Doesn't really happen like that in practice, as we'll see when we get up on the roof, or you may have already seen in the pictures. So we're going to have to apply a product to it. Um, we'll first try and see what happens with just a hose. I've also heard people say that just spray it down with a hose from the ground and you'll be fine. We'll see. I have my doubts. But then we'll try applying this product, and we'll try it two ways. Um, we'll try to uh, apply it and rinse it as if... Uh, you didn't have great access to really scrub the panels at all. And then if that doesn't work, then we'll apply it and we have some methods to uh, mechanically agitate anything that's sticking around. Um, that's what we have here. You'll need to make sure that you're using a soft bristle brush. This is an Eversprout. It has a little squeegee attachment here. It's telescoping. So... That'll be good for anything that's really trying to stick around. And then a little lighter duty, but a pretty cool product, this soft brush. We have a squeegee. There's different attachments, so you could angle it at different tilts. And it's telescoping up to 12 feet, good for uh, washing windows too. And since I'm getting on the roof, I need to be safe. So what better way to stay safe than getting a whole bucket of safe tie? And we'll be attaching that to our roof, and we don't want our roof to leak, so we have some sealant to apply afterwards. All right, it looks like we caught a little bit of a break here with the clouds. You might be questioning the wisdom of getting up on the roof and cleaning these panels on a hot July day. And to be honest, so am I just a little bit, but it's the summer. We have peak sun. If you weren't proactive and you didn't take care of it in May or June or April, now is a better time than ever. Uh, we want to get all the photons we can on our panels so we can generate as much electricity as possible. So let's do this. There we go. The first thing we need to do is set up our bucket of safe. Let's do that. If you buy this, you might notice there's a shrink over what we're calling the shock, shock absorber. You might be tempted to cut that off, but don't. This is a part of the safety mechanism. And uh, I don't want to carry this bucket up there, but I have a rope with a pretty sweet attachment on it. I'm going to go like this. Boom. Well, we got some good news up there. Um, apparently, the fine folks that installed our solar panels also installed permanent roof anchors. So, um, let's get moving. Let's clean these solar panels. 100 foot hose linked below. While I'm up there, I'm going to clip away some of the trees that are overhanging my roof. Uh, our pest control person told us that uh, that may be 
a route the ants are taking. I don't know if that's true or not, but either way, I'm gonna clip those back. Welcome to my roof. So here we are at my 10 kilowatt array on my roof. And as you can see, self-cleaning may be a bit of an overstatement. Although you can see when you look closely that it is trying. It's not terrible. But as you go further and further down the slope, you see more dust and buildup and that undoubtedly is costing me kilowatt hours so we're going to take care of that see how dirty this is i'm pretty sure we can get some more photons through that glass and this is the anchor i was talking about they were nice enough to leave three of these for me let's go clip these trees back As you can see, there's not a ton of dirt and debris on the solar panels themselves. But as I said, while we're up here and we're strapped in, we might as well take advantage of the time that we have. So I have the leaf blower anyways. Why don't we take care of some of our gutters? So we ran out of battery. And we're back. I've recharged. My battery's recharged. Let's get the rest of this debris off the roof. Then we'll get started on the solar panels. Looks like the sun is recharged too. <laughs> So first we're going to go ahead and just put some water on one panel. Right next to it we're going to use our uh, solar panel cleaner, see what the difference is between the two. And if need be, maybe we'll do some panels right next to it where we add uh, some of the soft bristle brushes, uh, see, see if we require any uh, elbow grease to get any of this dirt off of these panels. So let's check it out. It's not too bad. That's pretty clean. Ooh, there's some bird poop. We want to get rid of the bird poop. And notice I don't have the high pressure stream on. Um, maybe that's not evident, but it's true. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to hurt these panels. They're not necessarily sensitive or easy to break, but uh, you still want to be careful about sc not scratching this. All right. That's a pretty good wash down. You'll notice right here, there's some uh, areas that are still pretty dirty. I think it may be more evident once that dries, but we definitely want to go more than water. Although I will say if that was all you had and you weren't wanting to get on your roof, um, the hose will definitely make a difference. This is the product we're going to use. Directions say spray the solar panel cleaner onto the solar panel directly through the hose end sprayer squeegee off the excess or allow it to dry naturally to a non-streak, non-residue finish. Repeat as needed. 
That looks like the hose end. We've got different options here. Off, water, or mix. Obviously we want to mix right now with that mix. We've got this valve in the off position. So as soon as I hit this on, we're going to be spraying. Now it's starting to mix. I think all that was just water up until now. So let's go ahead and start that back there. Now we've laid down our solar panel cleaner, let's go ahead and scrub some of it off. We'll leave a couple panels uh, without scrubbing it and see what happens. We'll try just the squeegee on some. Um, we'll try using the, the soft brush uh, on some. I don't think we're going to get to that soft bristle broom. That's probably too much. Uh, doesn't seem like anything's in need of all that. So now we've laid down our solar panel cleaner. Uh, we're going to go ahead and scrub some of it off. I've got my uh, extension, my 12 foot extension cleaner here. We're gonna use this soft side, some squeegee. I think the other broom might be a little overkill for this. Uh, nothing seemed like it was gonna require that level of agitation, but I guess we'll find out. I take that back. I think there was a, there's some areas that look like it might need some of this soft brush action. We definitely need to do some uh, extra work to get these panels clean. It's not a set it and forget it kind of a thing. I suppose the instructions say repeat is necessary, so perhaps if you bought more of the product, you could just apply and apply. But I think what you want to do is get a broom, soft bristle of course, and get all that gunk off because that's blocking our power. All right, so we're gonna go check out the other end where we didn't use the broom now and see. As you can see behind me, this is the side that I used the broom on and it's looking pretty spectacular, pretty shiny. Let's see what's on the other side. Eh, not great. I mean, it's better than it was. I think it's better than just water, but certainly you don't want that on your panels. That's dirty. Ain't nothing clean about that. Now, to be completely fair, their instructions said repeat as necessary. I'm not sure how many times you'd have to repeat it to get to satisfactory results, but I think if you wanted to optimize your solar generation, you're gonna need to do something better than that. But that's why you uh, use a broom with soft bristles, of course and the hose and uh i definitely don't have anything against the product it might do as advertised uh it, it doesn't i believe clean without using some sort of agitation obviously depending on how dirty or clean it is if you have super clean panels then maybe that is all you need but down here we used that we used our cleaning solution and we also scrubbed 
And look how shiny those are. I'm quite happy with the way that turned out. And you can see the delineation right here. I made it down to this panel. And then right beyond it is where I stopped using the broom. And it just gets dirty and dirtier. So I think we've solved the riddle. Do you need a soft bristle broom to wash your solar panels or can you just spray the roof? Well, there's varying degrees of success, I think, is the answer. If you want to be 4.0, the answer is going to be use a brush with soft bristles so that you don't damage your panel, but you need to agitate that debris and that grime that's on your panels and liberate it so that you can have nice, shiny, photovoltaic panels producing as much energy as you possibly can. So there you have it. We've done our semi-annual solar panel maintenance. Um, if you can get up on a roof, get some safety equipment, a uh, soft bristled brush, something to agitate the dust and, and a cleaning agent, that's all it takes. That is your solar panel maintenance. You don't need a solar man, you don't need a, a electrical engineering degree or to be a solar technician. If you can clean, you can maintain your solar panels. It's really that simple. That's all there is to take care of your panels and they're gonna last you at least 25 years. I'm looking around and all I see is bald roofs everywhere I look. You know, maybe it makes sense in some of these cases, there are a lot of tall trees around, so I'll forgive those who have uh, too much shading. Uh, but I see a lot of photons landing on roofs and not doing any work for the, uh, for the homeowner. And that's just a shame. It's 2022 and you have the option. Now, you can either make your monthly payment to your utility company, or you can make that monthly payment towards a solar loan. And once that loan is paid off, you can own your generation plant. You can increase the value of your home while you do it. It's really a no-brainer. It doesn't matter where you live in the country. Evergreen Off-Grid has you covered. We can find you the best deal on solar. We can make sure that your entire process is hassle-free. You don't talk to salespeople. You just have advocates that are helping walk you through the process to make sure that you get the best deal possible for your situation. Generate your own power. It's cheap. It's easy. We can show you how. Go to evergreenoffgrid.com. All right, so let's see how we did. Not bad. Now that you've seen all these products in action, join me for part two for a full product review of everything that we used in our solar panel cleaning kit. Maybe a little extra behind the scenes scoop as well. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you would, please like, subscribe, and switch to solar at evergreenoffgrid.com. Thank you.